Hi, my name is Kristen Jerkins, and I will be evaluating the case study of AT&T's World's Largest Pep Rally. The idea behind AT&T's World's Largest Pep Rally was to conduct a national promotion that awarded one university with a free, live, full-produced concert featuring the Dave Matthews Band. For promotion, AT&T reversed the traditional model from a big media spin design to drive entries to having the stakeholders promote it amongst themselves. This promotional model recognized the powerful role that music, college football, and social technology plays in the lives of the college age target. Instead of consumers submitting simple entries, they created their own invitations that they sent to the band via web and text messaging. According to Thor Nystrom in 2007, Voting was free, and up to 50 votes were allowed per person per day. Students could also win prizes such as a plasma TV for sending the most creative invitations. The impact ended with consumers from every Division 1A university submitting more than 3.3 million invitations, including more than 350 text messages and over 250,000 photo, video, and audio invitations to the site. In addition to those attending the concert, another 150,000 watched it on AT&T's Blue Room website. In the end, the U.S. Military Academy of West Point won the contest. It was also proven that participants had a more positive view of AT&T and showed increased purchase and recommendations. The promotional area that I thought was the most effective was consumer engagement tactics. AT&T let the consumers create their own contest entries and promoted it from consumer to consumer. They did this by implementing lifestyle marketing and targeting college students' activities, behavior, and attitudes. Text messaging, photo, video, and audio invitations were key to the success of this promotion. Another great promotional tie-in was the live concert streaming through AT&T's website. This allowed AT&T to further brand their name with this promotion and showcase their products. Specific areas of opportunity are to further capitalize on non-traditional media outlets. College students love social media, so the first step would be to include other social networking sites into the mix, such as Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. These sites will allow word of mouth and viral marketing to spread from consumer to consumer. The keywords for additional opportunity are retweet, repost, reblog, share, and embed. AT&T could also place brand ambassadors at each university promoting their brand and promotion for the concert series, along with setting up tents and promotional areas during games throughout the season. Another idea is to place billboards around the campus and add advertisements in campus publications. As the concert series and contest continues to grow, AT&T could offer additional opening acts and chances for more than one school to win this promotional contest. College students will anticipate this concert every year if AT&T continues to build on this promotion. I feel as though AT&T has created a win-win program for all parties involved. AT&T and the Dave Matthews Band promoted this concert through universities throughout the country while also creating great brand awareness and drawing consumers in to participate in this promotion. Not to mention, AT&T did experience increased sales and recommendations. Even the consumers were able to join in on the fun. Though only one school was chosen, live streaming made it possible for everyone to watch the concerts from the comforts of their own home. My vision for the future of this program is to keep building on this foundation in order to take it to another level every year. More promotional perks, more consumer engagement, and more marketing techniques will lead to increased brand awareness and increased sales for sponsors and ultimately a bigger and better show for consumers. Thank you for watching my case study evaluation.